Welcome to Leon Divert, where today I am rating the designs of PALs from PAL World. This video will cover the PALs of the base game. The next video will cover the PALs introduced in the Sakurajima update. So I want to start by saying most of the PALs get the job done pretty good. Like they're pretty unique enough. You know, it's been a lot of time since the, uh, the accusations that they were copywritten uh, content from Pokemon. But I think this is, you know, like I, I, I've said before, you know, how many changes can you make to a sheep before it's no longer a sheep? So I think this is a good baseline, right? I think Kativa goes here. Chicopee, our Lord and Savior. You can always count on a chicken to be a god in almost any game that they appear in. Lithmonk is pretty cute. Kind of has that uh, Eevee slash uh, Pachirisu type thing going on, but it's, you know, a grass one. Fox Sparks, kind of generic. I think Fwack is really cool when you, um, if we're including names in their designs itself, like you can't have a design without a title. So I think Fwack is actually pretty good. I don't think it's amazing, right? But I think it's pretty good. I think Sparkit was trying too hard to be like a Pikachu slash Raichu type thing. Tansy's, Tansy's just, it's, it's terrifying. Look at it. Look at it looking you in the eyes. Ah! Ruby, I don't even know what a Ruby is. <laughs> Pingolet. Goes right there, I think. All right, here we go. Here we go, Pin King, Pimp King, let's go. Joltogs are just okay, right? Um, this guy's a little special, I think. Maybe up here, maybe up here. Vixie? Boom. Hookertes? I like Hookertes. Tiefen? The name actually bumps it up for me. The name bumps it up for me. Depresso? I, I need coffee just like Depresso does, okay? You go here. Daydream? I think Daydream's pretty cool. Mm. I think Daydream's pretty cool, design-wise. You go here. You go here. Um... Hmm. I think you go here. You go here. Um. I think these guys go here. I actually. I think you go here. But you go here. Right? That makes sense, doesn't it? You go there. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, Toko Toko design wise is pretty neato. I just, I, I, my bias is showing here. You know what? We'll bring you up here. Floppy, uh, I think it's better than Ribbony, right? I think Floppy will go here, and we'll go ahead and put Ribbony here. Um, because the males have udders, you go there. Bristla might go in sus, honestly depending on who you ask. I think I'll put them in sus. Gopfin, I think Gopfin is really cool. Like with the little lightning bolt over the eyes or under the eyes, I guess, through the eyes. Okay, Hangu's kind of middle of the road, you know? I think you go here, but I think the electric variant bumps up for me, I think. Yeah. 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 I think we could do this. Right? That makes sense to me. Kind of have like a Pidgeot type deal going on here. But you're still kind of just down here for me. I think this character is kind of cool. And I think the, uh, the antlers on this one really bump it up for me. Cinemoth is pretty cool. Our socks. The mud actually goes up here. 
Like, design represents them pretty well, you know? Honestly, Cognito, I like that. I like the, the plague mask a lot. I do think the Ignis is better. Luke Moon is pretty all right. Gale Claw, very American. But no fuck yeah here. I think these guys are kind of neato. All right, our first Sakurajima variant that we're going to have to pass on for now. But Gora Rat thing goes up here. Um, the Bee Guards and the Elizabeth. I think we put Elizabeth in sus. Bee Guard is kind of just here. Eh. Yeah, put him there for now. Grintail, I mean, pretty neato. Um, I think Swee goes here, but Swee Paw up there. Chill it, I mean, obviously. And we have to leave Chill it Ignis behind for now. Um, Univolt, I think Univolt's pretty cool. Um, Foxicles, pretty neato, I guess. Uh, what is this, Pyron and Pyron Knock? I think Pyron goes here. I think the Knocked version's really cool. I just like the color scheme a lot. Um, not a big fan of this one. Let's see, Rayhound. I think Rayhound goes in B tier. Kitsune, probably A tier. Dazi. Let's say B tier. Lunaris. Um, A tier. Dinosum and Dinosum Lux. I think they're B tier. Serpent. I think down there. I think you go here. Dig Toys. Bowser aesthetic. Very good. I think combat's pretty cool. Lovander is sus. Flambelle. Pretty cute. Bandworm, very neato. I think the Crist version's even better. I think you go here. I think the design is, you know, stands out very well. So I think they, they can go up there. Um, two that you would think are counterparts to each other, but aren't. Beacon and Ragnahawk. Beacon, I think is awesome. Ragnarok, also pretty high up there. All right, another variant from Sakurajima. Well, a couple really coming up. But for now, just regular Catrus. Um, sus. Honestly, same for Wixen. Sus. All right, Verdash. Yeah. I think goes there. Veilet. Uh, I don't like Veilet. I don't like fighting Veilet, but I think design-wise it stands out pretty well with the purple wings and stuff. Sibilix, pretty neato design. Elphadran, you know, Puff the Magic Dragon vibes. Uh, I think the dark one's even cooler. Kelpsy and Kelpsy Ignis, they're, they're just all right, you know? Azerobe, honestly a pretty good design. You know, it stands out from like the serpents and stuff. I think you're just okay. Like you stand out, but it's like, come on. I think you go here, but your blue and purple variant is better to me. Um, this guy here, obviously the Lux also goes up there. I think y'all honestly just go here. I think this design's pretty cool. I think Reptyro goes here with the uh, crisp version here. I think for the Mammoths, I think both Mammoths go here. Same for Wumpo Baton. They're just okay. Uh, Warsect. Warsect's kind of cool. Bingalo. Uh, reminds me of a certain sort of justice. Honestly, y'all kind of just go here. All right, you. You are pretty cool. I do think the, the green variant is a little cooler than this one. All right, Hellzephyr. I think Hellzephyr is awesome. Astagon. Yeah, Astagon's all right. Menesting. Menesting's all right. 
Anubis. I think design-wise on its own, it's really cool. You know, it's not too much like Lucario or anything. Jormantide and Jormantide Ignis. I think we have another situation where it's just it's too cool, right? Something like that. Suzaku and Suzu Suzaku Aqua. I think this works. I do like the blue one over the red one. I think Grizzbolt's just okay. Uh, Lilene and Lilene knock. Sus. Orzerk looking kind of like Garchomp. It's pretty high up there. Shadow Beak kind of looking like Type Null, Silvali, and pretty much having the same backstory. Pretty high up there. Uh, these guys. They'd be higher if there was a way to combine them, because there's obviously a backstory there where they're supposed to be combined. Uh, this guy's just okay. Crystallion's kind of grown on me recently. Crystallion knocked, obviously really cool colored palette. And I think Jetragon was the last one, and Jetragon's pretty cool. All right. For the base game, D tier. C tier, B tier, A tier, sus tier, and S tier. Obviously, pretty soon, we're going to get a follow-up video where I add these guys in. And at the same time, I'll probably make that an update video for where Power World is going on this channel moving forward. So look forward to that. Think about leaving a like, think about subscribing. Let me know what you would have done differently, and I will see y'all in the next one. Have a good one.